My name is Jessica Nicole. I am an actor and I am also a maker who is obsessed with making clothes, shoes, furniture, reupholstering, cookies. Stop me whenever. My work allows me to express pride because it allows me to show up, be who I am, and make no apologies about it. And I try really hard to make sure when I'm on set, everybody knows I'm married to a woman, I'm not ashamed of that. I've been on sets where, I've always been out, and I've been on sets where people assumed that I wasn't, and so would come to me and say, be careful what you're saying, there's cameras around. And I would be like, oh, I forget that there um, is a history of people not being allowed to do that, but I am demanding that I have the space to do that where I am. And I also recognize that I didn't create that space myself. You know, I am literally following in the path of a lot of people who have come before me and helped create a culture where we are accepted and we are proud of who we are. And so when I do my work, I feel like just getting cast and showing up and being unapologetic about who I am is a good representation of how I feel being a part of the LGBTQ community and how I want to push forward that there's nothing abnormal about who we are. There's nothing wrong about queerness. I'm celebrating myself all the time, so I'm hoping that other people will just get on board and start celebrating me too. Being out has taught me that I am resilient and I am also not as afraid as I used to be. I grew up in Alabama. Um, I am multi-ethnic, pretty small town, um, I'm a woman. There were a lot of things that made me feel like I was less than in terms of the people that I was around. I grew up in a mostly white neighborhood, went to a mostly white school. And there were so many things about my identity when I was younger that made me feel ashamed because I didn't have a lot of examples of how you could live looking like me or being parts of who I was and being proud of that. It was always taught to me in the media that, you know, being gay was, was shameful. Being black was shameful, not in terms of media necessarily, although yes, there as well, but just in the Southern town that I grew up in, there was like a, a real big disparity between the economic classes. I just always felt like it wasn't a safe place to be who I was. And eventually I moved to New York and I was in a community of people who mostly don't feel ashamed about anything at all. And I realized just because I haven't seen a multi-ethnic woman of color who was queer in the world before doesn't mean that they don't exist and doesn't mean that I don't exist. And so I came from a place of feeling very scared and insecure and I don't feel like I am any of those things now.